Hello, I'm Catherine, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back if this is a return visit. Today, I wanted to explore bare minerals a little bit more. I've done several bare minerals videos, and they have been very, very popular here on my channel, so I know that you all love this brand as much as I do. When I made my bare minerals trying all five of the bare minerals foundations video, it was so interesting to me how many of you commented that I was not applying the powder foundation correctly. And you were absolutely right. It just, it tickled me and I loved it. And I loved how many of you were like, great job, but you really need to buff that in a lot more. So a couple things, I did my research and I really did look into it. And since I just haven't worn that in so long, I was out of practice with it. So I've been practicing. I got the Bare Minerals Kabuki brush and I thought today we would do a little twist on the Bare Minerals since I wanted to use the powder foundation. I thought I would use all powder products on the face and on the eyes. So we're going to try a little something new. This is going to be a very natural, very easy day to day look, nothing fancy. And so if you are interested in a look like that, then stay tuned. My skin is prepped and I am ready now to apply the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I am in the shade Fairly Medium 05 and I'm just going to, you see how there's plenty actually just in the cap. I'm going to actually take a little bit of it out. You just don't need that much. And I'm going to take my cap and I'm just going to really work that powder into my brush. And then hopefully I'm going to be doing this correctly. So we're going to buff this into the skin. And you really have to work it into the skin because part of this process is actually heating up the foundation so that it does buff into the skin. And I wanna do one side and then show you. So I want you to see this is the side that I have buffed the powder foundation into and then this is the side with no foundation. So you see a difference. It's really lovely. It feels like nothing on the skin and of course it's just loaded with all kinds of great ingredients for your skin which is a big reason why I love Bare Minerals and I think a lot of you love it too for that reason. I'm going to keep on buffing this foundation right into my face. It is amazing to me how natural this looks on the skin. And like I said, it doesn't feel like anything. It just gives you such a healthy glow. I, I'm amazed. When I learned how to apply this product properly, it made a huge difference and I'm really, really enjoying it. This brush is worth it. I'm sure you could find another Kabuki brush, but I do like kind of the looseness and the denseness at the same time. And you can see it's just a, a really natural easy finish. I love this product for when my skin is irritated. Maybe I've used a skincare product that just didn't react well with my skin. I love going to this for my foundation because it's so nourishing and it feels like nothing on the skin. This is a wonderful product to have in your collection especially when your skin is feeling like it needs a lot of TLC 
but you're not gonna go without makeup. You still want some makeup on your face. And again, like I said, this look is gonna be very natural, very easy, very day to day. The next product I picked up was a concealer. So they have several different concealer shades. I got the shade Bisque and I am going to, again, just kind of put some here. For this, I've been using this Delium Tools. It's their um, 788 brush. And just, again, kind of taking it in the cap again and mixing this in. And then I just kind of, again, buff it right underneath the eye. And I'll do one eye and then show you the results of it. I even can kind of go up on the lid and I just kind of circular motion around. And I'll show you, this is one side and this is the other. And you can see how nice that looks. It's just amazing to me. Okay, that is both eyes concealed. Great, isn't that great? So, and again, feels like I have nothing on. That's, I, I know I keep saying that, but it's really true. So concealer, check. Next, I'm going to use the Loose Bronzer. This is the shade Faux Tan. And I got this little brush called the Perfecting Face Brush. And I like it with this. I think it looks nice. And again, I'm just gonna put some in the cap here. And I kind of just like this color all over. You're not really contouring with this, you're just warming up your face. And this is more of a pigment, so it doesn't have to be buffed in quite as much as the foundation. But you'll be amazed at how natural this warmth, and it just, it, the foundation doesn't pick up underneath it, it's beautiful. I mean, I just think that is so lovely. It's just easy, very, very easy, and very natural. Next product is blush. This is the shade Golden Gate, and it is really pretty. So I'm gonna give you a little, well, you're not gonna really, it's hard to, it's hard to give you. Okay, so I'm actually going to just wipe off that complexion brush and I'm gonna go into the blush now. Again, put that in that brush and put the blush where I would normally put blush. How pretty is that? Doesn't pick up the bronzer, doesn't pick up the foundation, just adds this beautiful life right into your face. And you need very little of this. Oh, I mean, it's just so pretty. I mean, how easy, how easy is that? So, so pretty. So now I'm just going to take the Mineral Veil powder. I'm gonna take a looser brush. This is the BK Beauty 104, and I'm just gonna take a little bit, oh gosh, a lot came out. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Mineral Veil, and I just kind of want to lightly kind of set everything in place. Because we're going for a natural look, I did my brows off camera and I just, I used this Patrick Ta, the soap brows, just kind of brush them up because we're going for a very natural, easy, easy look. For eyeshadow, which I had never used a Bare Minerals powder eyeshadow. I've got a couple of their palettes, which I really like. Again, for this look, I want easy, so I'm looking for a one and done shade. So I picked this shade called Queen Tiffany. I'm gonna bring you in so that you can see me applying this all over my lid. And I'm just gonna use a regular old blending brush. This is a MAC 22, this is a MAC 224S. And I'm just going to blend that all over the eye. Just a one and done shade. 
I love this shade. It's very kind of bronzy, beachy. How pretty is that? So, so easy. Other eye. The other thing, of course, that you can always do is use your faux tan bronzer. Do that on the eye, and even some of the beautiful Golden Gate blush would just be gorgeous. But I really love the shade Queen Tiffany. I think it's just so, so pretty. I'm not gonna do any eyeliner. I am gonna apply the Bare Minerals Strength and Length Mascara, and I will be right back. And this is the mascara, the Strength and Length Mascara. I love this mascara. It's really nice, it's natural. And of course it has ingredients in the mascara that help to strengthen and lengthen your lashes, which is just wonderful. It has a serum built in to the mascara. So for a super easy natural look like this, the best thing I think is just a little bit of a balm or a gloss. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals. This is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in the shade Ingenuity. It's just a really pretty kind of a pink nude color. It's such a pretty color. The formula of these mineralist lip gloss balms, are it's incredible. It feels so good and it lasts longer than some of the other gloss balm type of concoctions. I love this. It's a perfect purse item, I think, because you get a nice amount of color. It is more opaque, but it has no stickiness and just this very nourishing feel to your lips. So when my lips are feeling kind of chapped, this is the kind of product that I want to use. Okay, so this is everything. All powder products, minus the mascara, obviously, and the lip gloss balm, but all powder products. Incredible. And look, my face looks totally done up, but I've just buffed it in and I hope I did it right this time. So please let me know in the comments below if you told me before I wasn't doing it right. And believe me, I appreciate you reaching out and telling me that. Tell me if I did it right this time. And hopefully I did. I will tell you, I am loving the effect of this. So I'm hoping I did it right. If I didn't do it right, this is crazy. But I, I am just so impressed by this. This is such a natural, easy look. It doesn't take very much time. It's so good for your skin. My eyeshadow is probably the most dramatic thing that I have on, but I could have just used some of the bronzer or I could have used some of the blush. Easy, easy, easy products. Good for your skin and just beautiful, very natural. They bring out your natural skin, which is lovely. And it's amazing how these powder products don't just settle right into every wrinkle and every little nook and cranny on my face and age me, but they don't. I love it. I love the effect of this. Do you like Bare Minerals powder products? If you do, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to join me here on a more regular basis. Hope you are doing well, and I will see you in my next video.